How you doing guys, it's Owen here, and today I thought I should make a video on the World War I game Verdun, which has been available on Xbox for about 3 years now, I believe. There was a massive update recently that totally changed the entire game for the better, and I'd like to point out the very first thing you may notice, a new menu. It's much smoother than before for sure, and there are even more servers showing up than ever. The game has also introduced custom matchmaking, which really enlightens the game in a big way. You can decide the number of factions that can fight, what year of the war you're fighting it, many other details. I then decided to hop into a decently populated server and see how many other changes there were. The first game put me into a German squad, and I noticed a huge change regarding the squad screen. You can see character models of your squad mates and yourself now, along with some loadout options seen on the left. I find this setup more convenient than before. I then spawned in with motion blur and extreme gore turned off to get that most realistic feel for World War I style trench combat. The next game was on the newest map, St. Mihiel. For this game, I decided to switch to the US Marine Corps. I mean, it's only appropriate since they fought there. But sadly, I didn't get the trench gun yet. But the Springfield will do. It's also worth pointing out that artillery is now guaranteed to kill you. Same with grenades. Before the update, it was a pretty rare occurrence to be killed by grenades, since they were so bugged. But now, after the update, you can't really throw them as far as you used to, so you really gotta arch your tosses. Grenade! The next map for this critique was Artois, one of my favorites. I have yet to use the trench gun so far, so I tried out the light machine gun to provide it. Attack! The guns were pretty much the same as before, but with better sound design. I also had the chance to use pistols, and may I just say I'm amazed. They're so much better than what they used to be regarding ADS and control. Hip firing, while risky, can be proven effective if used correctly. We're not giving this up without a fight! Hold the line! Hold the line! Finally, I got the trench gun. I was dying to know if it was better or worse after the update, and, well, uh, take a look.
As you can see, it's a true trench sweeper. Favorite of mine, and one more reason to like this game. You're not giving this up without a fight! Well, that's it for the video. I may not have gone into extreme depth with all the details and changes, but I hope my gameplay convinces you that this is truly a hidden gem, and the update did good. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, if not, a dislike, and I will see you in the next one.